Hey guys, it's Fernando with Hardy Tool Fest. Today we're going to be doing a Hydra install. So when you order a Hydra from us, this is what you normally get. You get one of our stickers, right? You get your list. If you order us, if you order the tunes or you order us to program the tunes, you get your list. 15 tunes for a total of 17, two of which are, I mean 15 of which are uh, programmed. You get your Hydra programmed. You get a Power Hungry Performance sticker. You get a business card. The selector box with our faceplate on it. And obviously, the most important thing, which is the Hydra. Now, when you open this box right here, let's take out the selector. You're going to have a brass brush to clean the PCM connections, Scotch Brite to polish them up. Some important rules you should look into your installation procedures. And we include a six foot uh, cable. So you don't have to remove your hydra if you ever want to reprogram it again. And obviously the, the ribbon and cable. Ends and zip ties. To be able to install a hydra, we're gonna have to undo the 10 millimeter bolt. It's in there. That got right there. Once you open your truck, you'll have to reach the part of the PCM. The PCM is located right here. One bolt here, the other bolt up there. I will put in the video now. You'll need a seven millimeter socket to remove the PCM. You got both your screws or bolts very important clip that metal clip don't lose it you know pull towards this way towards the brake pedal and towards the seat and it comes right off All right x goes towards the fender All right and then here is your uh pcm code nbk5 in this case All right dpc 422 then we're going to take out the PCM. Once you got your PCM, right? Again, this X goes to the fender. This is your uh, PCM code MBK5. You're gonna take this guy out of here, right? This right here is a PCM that has never been touched. We know because of the sticker. Grab yourself a uh, flathead and pop this guy out. There you go. So there you see the J3 port. Focus. J3 port that has to be clean. The famous silicone that everybody does wrong. To get access to the PCM, you're gonna need a 5.5 millimeter socket to remove the six screws that hold this guy together. So let's get this guy apart. So we get this guy apart. You're gonna see your silicone coated J3 port. You're gonna see uh, very clean tin colored connections right there. And now we gotta take this guy apart. Once you pop open your PCM, right? You're gonna get a lot of guys who are like, yeah, I cleaned it, man. Uh, I have issues, it doesn't work. This thing doesn't really work. Blah, blah. I'm like, do you clean the answer? And they're like, what? The other side, what? There's another side? I didn't know. Well, yeah, there is. So now we're gonna show you how to properly clean that J3 port so you don't have any connection issues. Once you get access to this PCM, right? You're gonna have access to, again, that J3 port that needs to be cleaned on both sides. And this side, very important. A lot of guys just, when you have the cover here, they only clean this side, right? That's the only side you have access to. They're like, oh yeah, I cleaned it, man. I cleaned it, I definitely cleaned it. In this case, it'll be this way. Yeah, this way. You're ready to clean this thing, right? A lot of guys are gonna be like, yeah, let me clean this with the old Scotch-Brite, or let me clean this with this first. No, 
Gotta be the base. And we're gonna start scrubbing this thing. Especially in between, let me see if I can get a close up of this. In between the connections. See that? See how you have all the that silicone coming out? You have to scrub that stuff out. And grab you the corner. You're gonna go individually on each of the pins and in between the the pins. I'm going to fast forward this. See that? We have to lift all that up. Now we're going to go and clean on the pins. Be careful though. We're checking with our nail, see we got any silicone there. Nope. So that connection's good. Make sure, see, I have here that's dirty. See that? That's dirty right there. You, you wanna be able to see a reflection on them. But you see this one right here is dirty. We're gonna clean it again. See right there? This confirms it was dirty. See that? Alright, that's all clean. We're gonna get a scotch bright. Polish this thing up very, very, very easy, very simple. That side's good to go. So now let's put this back together. So we can do this side right here. This side's a little bit tricky. There's barely any space for you guys to see, but. Again, we're doing the same thing. See that? See that? That's the silicone that we're scraping off. Very important. Good stuff. Now, should we clean this? All right, time to install the hydro on. So normally, when you install this stuff, you open up your package, and in here is where your hydro is. Now it's the time to connect your uh, USB that we provided. At no extra cost, it's included. For free, you buy it from us. Um, plug this guy up here. Now, I like to um, use the um, zip ties that are included. Normally, two zip ties are included, but that's for people that um, don't want to notch out a rectangle on here i always like doing that i always like notching out a rectangle here and instead i like using one of the zip ties for this purpose right here maybe it's not meant for that but i personally do that run this through here All right 
There you go. It doesn't have to be all the way tight. That's just fine. Right there. I'm going to test. Actually, let's see. Yeah, we can actually make this tight. So, I'm going to make this tight. There you go. I'm going to trim this off. All right, we're back. Trim this guy's off. There you go. So now, don't forget, very important, this guy. This guy has a little step right here. See that? That's going to go on this side. So make sure you do that correctly. All right, so now we're going to run this thing like this. All right. We're going to run this through here. All right. We're going to. Set on there. That's what you should look from this side and from the other side, right? So now we're going to bolt this guy up. Come on first before I fully tighten them. There you go. So this is what your PCM should look like after it's all said and done. Now the more important step right now, well the most important step at least for me is adding duct tape to here so you can secure your Hydra. If you don't do that and you hit a bump or a pothole, something like that, the Hydra is going to walk out through the vibration and it's going to fire PCM and or the Hydra. And or both. Let me get some duct tape. Alright, so we got our duct tape. We got some isopropyl alcohol pads to clean this so that the um, duct tip can grab, All right, and the other side, we're going to cover this guy, So you should have a relief cut so the ribbon cable has no pressure like that. All right. That's to the other side. Relief cut. Something like that. All right. And now we're gonna see do something like that. All right. So, I'm still going to put another strip, but it should look something like this. You guys get the point. Duct tape, that holds the hydra in, right? And you have some reliefs to have your ribbon cable come out and your USB cable come out. And then another one just for good measure. So ideally, there you go. That's what I mean by duct taping your hydra on, right? So now we have to notch a hole here, right? So you see here that has to come out through here. So what we're going to do is because this is on this side, right? We normally put this through there, right? This goes towards this side. I'm going to put this through here. We have to kind of match this a little bit, right? The well, hydra comes out here, so we're going to cut up to here. So that's what we would notch out. I have a vibrating saw here that I'm going to use to notch that. Something like this. All right. I'm going to literally notch that out, little by little, test drive it or test fit it or whatever, and, and then um, we'll go back again if we need to cut again. So, again, be careful. Don't lose that clip in there. Very important, that grounds out the PCM. Don't lose it. Now, move the PCM out of the way. All right. And then now we're going to notch this little thing out. So 
something like this. For now, we're going to test fit this thing, and then we may have to expand it right after we test it. Right? So let me trim this down a little more. Every light. So, uh, yeah. So now we're going to trim this extra lip right here. See that? We're going to trim that part. So you should have something like this, right? Now we're going to test this guy out. We're going to grab a cable through here, pass it through here. Grab our ribbon cable, do the same. All right, pass through here. So now we're going to test fit our computer. We're going to pull these guys out of here, out of the way. There you go. That's almost perfect. But I still want to take out maybe, say, a quarter of an inch more. So we're going to go back to cutting this thing or trimming this thing a little more. You can grab your scotch bright. Some of the burrs or the just the, the melted plastic. There you go. And right, now we're gonna test the same thing. We're gonna run the USB cable through here. We're gonna run the ribbon cable through here, the data port cable. We're going to test this guy out. That's a much better fit right there. There you go. See? So that's what you should be having. That way the hydro protrudes from here to here. You don't have any excess pressure. The hydro does protrude longer. You can see here, longer than the box. That's why you have to notch this out. So now we can't forget that ground clip that we had earlier. And now this goes like this. You have that ground right here. Hold it with our thumb. Pre insert this guy. And now make sure we have no extra cables there. Straighten these guys out. Fully insert this in. And we are good to go, guys. So now, time to install it. Now we're going to install our. PCM in there. All right. That's what we have, right? So we're going to go, oops, as uh, so. Grab our seven mil bolts again with the ground clip. Well, it has to be inserted more. There you go. Grab our 
second bolt. That's inserted in there. Now with this cable, right here, the USB cable, we're gonna roll this up. We don't need it right now. Hydra's already programmed. All right. Roll it up like this. And we're gonna put it up there. Somewhere out of the way. All right. For all we need it. We're opening up our fuse panel. Now we're gonna grab that USB cable and route it in here actually. That's good there. I'm gonna roll this puppy up again. And now we're gonna keep it up in there, hidden. So anytime the customer needs to put his tunes or change his tunes, then uh, he can do that. And we're going to pull this guy. There you go. We're going to reroute this cable. And now, run this up through here. We're gonna run it by here. Now we're gonna grab our selector box. Right here. Same thing, remember that notch? In this case, it's right there. So, put this here. Now before we pick an area and put it on there or whatnot, we're gonna check with the key to see if uh, when we power it on, the hydro has power. All right, so once you grab your uh, alcohol prep pad and clean this area up. All right, we're gonna run the cable. Make sure it doesn't bind on the back side. Let's do the key on, see if it works. You can see here you're currently in position number one. We're going to go to our tool number six, which is a 25 horsepower tow tool. I'm going to click on the up button, two, three, six. And we're going to start. There you go. Now we're going to confirm that the tuner is working by going to our high idle, which is tool number one. There you go. Now let's go to a whisper tune. Back to our toe tune. There you go guys. That concludes the hydro install.